Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at cosine to the power of 15x dx. Now this is a crazy integral. We know that. We can see that power of 15, that's really high. Now in the past, we've done cosine cubed x. We've done the integral of that. We've done the integral of sine to the power of 7 dx. Check in the comments down below. You'll see that I've done these integrals. So I thought, what about having a go at cosine to the power of 15 of x? Well, usual business will apply. But later on, we're going to need the Pascal's triangle. So usual business, cosine 15 of x. So cosine 15 of x is the same as cosine squared of x to the power of 7 cosine of x. Okay, so we know that from the previous videos. So let's put that in there. So cosine squared of x to the power of 7 cosine of x dx. So we broke it apart. Next we use the trig identity. So cosine squared of x equals 1 minus sine squared of x. So now we plug that in. Okay, and then we did the u sub, u sub for sine squared x, so u equals sine of x, du equals cosine of x dx, so then we go into the u world, we've got the integral of 1 minus u squared to the power of 7, cosine of x, and then dx is du over cosine x. Okay, so then we just cross that out. So now we're fully in the U world. So now the problem we've got is one minus U squared to the power of seven. So that's our problem we've got here now. So to foil that out, it's gonna take you all day long. So you can use the binomial theorem, or in this video, what I wanted to show you how to use the Pascal's triangle. So let's have a look how we do the Pascal's triangle. Okay, so start off, one, one, one. Okay, so that's all your one combinations. So that's the combinations of zeros, combination of ones. Next we have the two, and then we go one. Then the number in the middle, we do the total of the numbers on the outside. So here we write two, and then one again. Now for the threes, we're gonna build this all the way up till we get to the power of seven. So threes, 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, same again, and then a 1. And then for 4, 1, 1 and 3 is 4, 3 and 3 is 6, 4, 1. 5, 1, 1 and 4 is 5, 6 and 4 is 10, 10, 5, 1. 6, we got 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. And finally, 7, 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, and 1. Okay, so this is the line that we're interested in. So bas basically, this will give our coefficients of each of the factors of this as we're going along the line. So this is our zeros, ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, sixes, and sevens. Okay, so bearing in mind, with the one minus u squared, we have a equals one, b equals negative u squared. So we write this out <coughs> like this. So building up the powers, we go, a to the power of 7, b to the power of 0, a to the power of 6, b to the power of 1, <clears throat> a to the power of 5, b to the power of 2, 
a to the power of 4, b to the power of 3, a to the power of 3, b to the power of 4, a to the power of 2, b to the 5, a to the 1, b to the 6, and then finally b to the 7. a to the 0 is 1, same with here. You can take this out, that's just a 1. Okay, so now what we do is our coefficient for a is 7 and b is 0, we'll take this for the b number. So we'll use for b equals 0. <clears throat> so a to the power of 7. So a is 1. Coefficient of 1 is 0. So our so coefficient for the zeros is 1. So basically we've got 1. So if we just start this integral out here now, because we're going to need all this space. So all the ones multiplied together will give us one. Next one we got is for when b equals one. So that's this one. So a to the power of six. So that's one. So we had plus seven. The coefficient is seven. Then a to the power of six, which is one b to the power of 1 is just negative u squared. Let's just put these easier to see, because we're going to use these quite a lot here. So that's that one done. Now a to the 5. So our coefficient here now is 2 for the b2, so that's 21. And then we've got a to the power of 5, which is 1. b squared minus u squared is u to the 4. So that's that one. Now when b is 3, this one, coefficient is 35. So 35, a to the power of 4, 1, b cubed. So minus u squared cubed. So to do the coefficients, we multiply the coefficient of u squared by the coefficient of b. So 2, 3 is a 6, minus Cubed still leaves us with a minus, so we've got minus u to the 6. Okay, let's just put that in brackets so we don't get confused. Okay, so that's that one. So now we want when b is 4, so again, coefficient is 35. a cubed is 1, b to the power of 4 is same as b squared and then squared again. So u, minus u squared is u to the 4, square that is u to the 8. Okay, so that's that one. Now when b is 5, we're on to 21. a squared is 1. And b to the power of 5, we've got u to the 8 times minus u squared. That gives us minus u to the 10. Okay, that's that one. a to the 1, b to the 6. Our coefficient there is 6 for, b to, uh, the, for the value for 6, which is 7. So 7 times a to the power of 1 is just 1. b to the power of 6. So that's just minus u to the 10 times minus u squared, which is plus u to the 12. Okay, and then the last one is when b to the 7, b to the 7, the coefficient is 1, and b to the power of 7, so that's u to the 12, so it's minus u to the 14. That's good, we just fit that in there nicely. Okay, right, let's just simplify this up now. 1 stays the same, 7 times 1 times minus u squared, that becomes minus 7u squared. Plus 21 times 1 u to the 4, that's plus 21 u to the 4. 35 times 1 times minus u to the 6, so that's minus 35 u to the 6. <clears throat> Let's just change this from negative and positive in here, just to make it neater, so we're a bit more consistent on the line. So that's minus 7 u squared, we don't need the bracket now. Just take that out. Okay, 
35 times 1 times u to the 8, that's 35 u to the 8. 21 times 1 times minus u to the 10, so that's minus 21 u to the 10. 7 times 1 times u to the 12, that's 7 u to the 12, positive. And u to the 14, minus 1, and it's a minus, so it's minus u to the 14. Okay, right. So this crazy looking interval, integral, we can integrate it now. So let's just go along using the power rule. So that then gives us 1 gives us u. 7 u squared, well that's 7, oh. so that's minus 7 u, 2 plus 1 is 3, and divide by 3, okay, plus 21, u, u to 4 plus 1 is 5, divide by 5, 35 u to the 6, so it's negative 35u to the 7, over 7, plus 35u to the 8, so it's u to the 9 now, and then divide by 9, minus 21u to the power of 11 now, and then divide that by 11, plus 7u to the 12, which becomes plus 7u to the 13 over 13, minus u to the 14, u to the 15 over 15. Let's just put that as 1 over 15. Okay, let's go back into the x world, so sine of x. So that now gives us, u gives us sine of x minus u cubed is sine cubed of x, don't forget the coefficient, plus 21 over 5, sine to the power of 5 of x, minus 35 over 7, well we know that's 5, so we just put 5u to the 7 which is 5 sine x to the 7, plus 35 over 9, u to the 9, sine x to the power 9, and there we go, and then minus 21 over 11, u to the 11 is sine x to the 11, plus 7 over 13, u to the 13 is sine x to the 13, and then minus 1 over 15, sine x to the 15, and then the all-important plus c. Okay, that there is the answer to our integral.